Army Chaplain Captain Emil Capon of Pilsen, Kansas, served in the Army during World War II and the Korean War, where he was captured and passed away on May 23, 1951. Today, 70 years later, his remains have been accounted for. The fact that we've been able to positively identify Chaplain Capon is just such a good news story because you know, now we can have the closure of knowing that one of America's heroes will be successfully repatriated, buried at the place of the family's choosing. In 2013, Capon was awarded the Medal of Honor posthumously for his service by President Obama, which was accepted by his descendants. For them, it's just the benefit of knowing they have a family member who the nation has determined is among the very best to have ever worn the uniform. In 1993, Pope John Paul II declared Chaplain Capon as a servant of God, which is the first step towards canonization in the Catholic Church. Servant of God is basically when they do a fairly preliminary uh, investigation just to make sure there's nothing sort of egregious standing out that would disqualify this person at immediate glance from being named a saint. For Colonel Forrester, he believes that Capon exemplified the motto of an Army chaplain. The motto of the Army Chaplain Corps is pro deo e patria, you know, Latin for for God and country. And if there is a person that we have, we have many wonderful people who have lived this, but if there's somebody right now who embodied that, that's Chaplain Emil Capon. He gave his all for God and country, and the country, the Army, and the Chaplain Corps are much better for it. At Fort Riley, Jacob Hall. Channel 8 News.